I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A Bow, 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 bow You already know what it is, man Salute to every single one of y'all The subscribers That notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you You know who I be Follow me on IG Vada underscore fly Tell your mama I say hi Also, pin comment, right? Look, look, down, look, look down now In the pin comment It's a link tree and that has the pre-order to my mixtape when you start rapping like that which will be dropping tomorrow on all streaming platforms what do you think of that i know it took a little second i was getting the joint processed all last week but it'll be everywhere you can put it on your instagram stories your snapchat facebook uh it'll be on apple itunes spotify vodafly you know what i'm saying i put together about 13 joints there's no battle rap features on there there ain't no battle rap features on this motherfucker i wanted to rap for myself uh, sp is on a joint and i got kid kid on another one and you know what i'm saying it's a full body of work by myself um, shout out to my producer Scrap who was there, you know what I'm saying? We took like four weeks and I'm gonna get to this cast and John John in one second, you know what I'm saying? But when you start rapping like that, my mixtape, shout out to the people who pre-ordered it. My man, um, Shizzy, uh, my dog Midas Rex, uh, Scott Bernhardt, Britt, uh, fucking, uh, my man, um, DJ K. A lot of cats that I know that just pre-ordered it off of the fact that it's my work and I had put out mad samples and snippets and people heard it but I will say it was a fun process I had to learn a lot though because I ain't know I thought like if I pick this day I could just upload it on every site in one day and niggas was like nah this is a process you gotta have this you gotta have that you gotta have a company it was so much involved so if you appreciate and you wanna hear what I do It'll be out on streaming platforms tomorrow, but I will put the pre-order, you know what I'm saying? You can get the work directly from me, you know what I'm saying? You might not make shit on a streaming platform, but if you support what I do, you know what I'm saying, you want to hear it, I'll make sure it's available for everybody to hear. But like I said, when you start rapping like that, it'll be out tomorrow. Trust me, the weight is off my shoulders. I let the gun cock. I started working on part two before I let one drop. I'm working on part two already. That's just what it is. Now, let's get to the story of the day. Cassidy, shout out to Cassidy and everything that he's got going on. Shout out to John John and everything that they've got going on. Today is Thursday, October 10th. This month is flying by really fast, and that's a good thing. It's not too bad. But um, John John and Don and Bullpen Battle League have a card coming up called Endgame. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Endgame and everything that's going on with that. And I was looking. The date is October 19th. That's next Saturday. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Should I blast with him? Huh? I need the Yankees to win tonight. I got on that Jazz Chisholm. What the hell is going on? What is... What, we need a face-off first, y'all. Yo, I got so many things I want to say about battle rap, and I haven't really been blogging. I'm on my tape. I work, start working on my shit. Once people start listening, we start picking up streams. People, I'm like, nigga, I'm focused on this shit. So when you start rapping like that, we'll be out tomorrow. But let's get to this. Um, John John versus Cassidy, you know what I'm saying? Endgame. Bullpen, you know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be John John's endgame battle going down in Atlanta, which is uh next weekend, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit we don't know about John John versus Cassidy. First of all, people was asking, like I asked, and he told me basically that Cassidy's a bigger pay-per-view draw, etc. etc. I wanted to see him versus Murder Move. I did not want to see John John versus Cassidy. I wanted to see him versus Murder Move. But people online is asking, and I seen people talking earlier, like, yo, what kind of promotional package do y'all got? Because the biggest name and the biggest draw in battle rap has not done a face-off. His joint with Hitman did like 3 million views. This has got to be... <laughs> hey, is this part of the promotional package? Like, all Cassidy did was post the flyer and do a uh, 15 Minutes of Fame Hip Hop is Real interview. Like, that's not going to be enough to drive or draw interest. Because honestly, we don't even know... Well, where this shit started? We don't, we ain't like, niggas is not like in tune. Maybe I'm missing something. I feel like I'm one, one of the more in tune people when it comes to battle rap. I kind of see and hear everything. But I have no idea this shit is 
random. And if Cassidy doesn't do one and just shows up to the battle, what interest does he think that people are really gonna have in seeing him? It's not John John. John John been doing his thing all year. I don't take nothing away from what John John has done. He's had mad battles. I just seen him battle not too long versus Sirius Jones. I seen him in person when he battled against Easy. I done seen John John battle a hundred times at once. I know what the fuck he's gonna do because I feel like he's gonna win. I've been said that already. So that's not even uh, on the table for me. It's not on the table for me to think he's not gonna. Yo, my mixtape drop tomorrow. You already know what the fuck going on, man. But. It's not on the table for John John to lose a battle versus Cassidy to me. I said, if you look at Cassidy's opponents, whether it's Arsenal, Goods, uh, fucking uh, Disaster, uh, all the shit that he has since he's been back. Goods, I mean, John John probably raps, raps bar for bar, probably raps better than all of them. It's true. Hitman too, bar for bar. John John's probably the most technically lyrical sound MC out there, out of these niggas. So if I don't think he's gonna beat them, if he didn't beat them to me, how do I have him beating John John? But from a fan's perspective, from the fan's viewpoint, we want to see that conversation. We want to see y'all have it out. Like you said, Cassidy's the John John tweeted today. What did he tweet? Go ahead, let's get it, Vada. He said the king of the face-offs ducking a face-off is crazy. That's what he said. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? It's right there, nigga. I gotta take the drop. I ain't. I ain't got wages. Crap. I gotta take the drop. The shit's right here. King of face-offs ducking a face-off is crazy. And then John John posted the video of Cass doing a no diddy, like a diddy diss, like Cass, my nigga. <laughs> the battle. We would rather see the battle, my nigga. Like, we don't care about you dissing the freak diddy, the freak. I heard Diddy's court date is May 4th, Frico de Mayo or some shit. So, we don't care. I'm beyond with Cass. We don't, we, we ain't even on it like that. We know the nigga Diddy is cooked anyway. So you're doing the Diddy video, this and him, that shit is like on some, it's almost like a clout chase, my nigga, because what did he do to you? You really ain't got nothing to do with it. We know, the feds, listen. The feds had everything they needed when they went to go get that nigga the first time. They got everything they need. They got the videos, they got the thousand bottles, they got uh, the, the, the travel records, the itineraries, they got the drugs, they got all this shit. So they don't need you to make no videos like going in on them, we don't care, my nigga. I'm not trying to hear you this, that nigga. Like, I, I don't fuck with him. I hope he gets all the time that he deserves. But that kind of energy, you channeling into the wrong shit. Now, you was rapping in that motherfucker. I pressed it. And, and you was bar, bar, bar. Yeah, a lot of bars. But I'm like, why is he this and nitty? Like, mm, my nigga, like, you got to battle with John John next weekend, my nigga. I don't feel like you got to battle with John John. I don't feel like John John versus Cassidy is happening next weekend. I had to look this shit up. We don't know nothing about it. You know, niggas don't really know where, where is the, I don't know what's good. Hitman's face-offs is coming out, and then you got a battle that's happening after his. Your shit's this next weekend. Where's the face-off? I don't know. Who's doing commentary? It ain't me. I don't know. There's a lot of shit people want to know. I'll be home. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is good. I'm cool with that. I told y'all, I'm good. Niggas, if I never get a call to do commentary again, I'd be great, because guess what? I can stay home and recap that shit. And recaps? The recaps, the recaps pay more than any niggas willing to pay. So that's why <laughs> ain't no good. We don't. I don't got no negotiation with no league. But shout out to all the leagues. But you probably won't see me around per se because I'd rather stay here. And, you know what I'm saying? I get the recap. I don't know if at 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand. <laughs> now back to it. Where the fuck is the face off? I don't know. The reason why I don't know is because it ain't out. And the thing is, the face offs help generate interest. You know what I'm saying? Like. You just seen Geechee Gotti and the Hitman have like they fake face off where niggas acting like they gonna fight but there's paid security and shit there. But it still drives interest. I mean, it's just one of them things. I'll swing on you right now. Come on outside. Nigga, let's, what's up, nigga? What's up? What's up? That, that, we like that. It gets the people going. It's provocative. It's innovative. I don't know why. It just is. I want to see Cass talk his shit. But if it's too late, like face-offs the day before the battle and all that shit, that, that ain't gonna really cut it. That, that ain't gonna help the overhead, like that really won't. So, my thing is this, it's not so much for John John because he's gonna do his thing, the battle's gonna be what it's gonna be. Cass, you gotta help drive some interest to this because you not no cheap battler. I know for a fact that you ain't cheap. You ain't, <laughs> you going for more than everybody on the card. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't, you going for everybody more than probably everybody in a month. You know? So. In order to help the ecosystem of battle rap, I think it only makes sense for a face off to have. And then y'all niggas is both in Atlanta, yo. Nah, we not. 
These niggas both live in Atlanta. You niggas couldn't meet on Peach Street. Is the Pink Pony still open? <laughs> is Stroker still? Y'all niggas can't meet and just do a face off. I don't care if niggas do that shit out in the parking lot. Y'all gotta get a face off done because, and I'm speaking from, you know, I'm just a fan. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Yankees, New York, nigga. You know what the fuck going on? I need y'all to close series tonight. Mets is on fire right now. Let's get this shit together. But, uh, you know, as, a, as a looking from the outside in, it's like, yo, that's something that people want to happen. You know what I'm saying? We definitely would like to see. John, John, and Cassidy have a conversation in front of each other. Maybe we can learn some things. Maybe we can hear John, Cass scream on John, John, and say, you, won't, you ain't even deserve this battle. I'm only here for the money, and I'm here for the chicken and chicken. How's Mr. Chicken not in front of the camera when it comes to the chicken? I fuck with Cass, too. He follow me on Instagram. I follow him, too. It's kind of weird, though, because Cass got me blocked on Twitter, but we follow each other on Instagram. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but anyway, let's keep it moving. My nigga Cass, I rock with you, bro, but we need to see you guys in front of each other, you know what I'm saying, talking y'all shit because uh, the battle's next weekend. That's, that's, that's fucking like 10 days from now, you know what I'm saying? And as a nigga who's looking at the rap grid, when you look at rap grid, bro, go to rap, hold on. <laughs> I'm about to be out of here, you know what I'm saying? But go to rap grid right now, right? Rapgrid.com, right? When you go to rap grid, right? Look how many fucking pay-per-views these niggas is selling during the month. And you can scroll down. It's mad fucking events, bro. Who, like, somebody got to stand out. Because this is, it be 50, 50, 50, 50, 35, 45, 55. So y'all, somebody got to stand out. Because <laughs> if y'all niggas think that people going to keep pulling their card out and spend 45, 55, 50, 35, 50. Bro, that shit not going to happen. I'm telling you right now. Telling you right now, y'all niggas gotta tighten up. All leagues gotta tighten up. It's so many, all these niggas is peddling pay per views. And then so many events is having the same issues chokes, stumbles. This person's not prepared. And then Shotgun Sugar got the boxing shit. I'm picking the boxing shit over some of this battle rap shit right now. I'm telling, I'm telling you right now, I will be picking the boxing event over one of these 35 events that's on, that's on this motherfucker right here. I will. Cause I want to see a nigga get knocked out. Cause you know when the recap of that, I couldn't go. There's no way I will go to the boxing event because the recap of that, a nigga get knocked out. Huh? I'm gonna just leave it there to make it fail. Shout out to Cash. Shout out to John John. But I'm just letting y'all know the streets need a face off, my nigga. And then John John is tweeting, the king of the face-off, scared to do a face-off. That shit look crazy, especially if you're trying to sell a product. How the fuck you gonna sell a product that you're not getting in front of? Like, you gotta get in front of that product. You gotta make that thing go, you know? Shout out to every single one of y'all, man, that watch this content, whether religiously or passing. Like I said, I humbly thank every single individual for rocking with me for all these years, you know what I'm saying? But if you support me in any way, the tape, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something from me. Like, the blogging shit is just a blog. I can blog every motherfucking day, just sit up here myself, whether that's PB, bot, whoever. I just talk shit about battle rap. But something that personally means something to me, like something that I created, like I picked all the beats, I wrote all the raps, you know, all that shit. I was greedy on shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was trying to get features out with me. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I tell y'all a little story about the Kid Kid feature real quick before I get out of here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kid Kid. Lil Peanut from Mazak. I've always been a fan of Lil Peanut. Um, kid Kid from the GU the days to, you know, all of that, you know what I mean? Um, I was putting together a tape, and this is like a battle rap shit is over, so you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just me telling, like, the people who's here to want to hear that type of shit. So, uh, the ba uh, I was doing the shit. I wasn't even doing the tape at first. I did a couple records and shit, and then, uh, I had played the sample to the I Get High shit, and the nigga, uh, the nigga Kid Kid, I fuck with him and all that, he hits me up on, on Gram or Twitter or whatever, we got each, he got my number too, so we was talking, he was like, yo, when you gonna put me on the right, he's like, yo fam, like, I, I wanna get on, like, and I was like, for real, I was like, look nigga, <laughs> this ain't no record label here, you know what I'm saying, this just a nigga doing some music, you know what I'm saying, like, but you know, I ain't gonna tell you no, you know, you my man, I fuck with you, he's a big fan of the battle rap culture and shit, I sent the nigga the vert, I sent the nigga the, the song, Cause I get high, the original joint only had one, two verses on it. It was just me. So I sent it to him and shit. And he did it. And he sent it back. I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's other people in his game that nigga Daylight will ask you for a hundred records. You send him, he won't send none of them shits back. So you just stop sending that nigga records. But other people, you know what I'm saying? You, you, they'll ask you for records. You, you send it to him. You never hear from him again and shit. 
it's at times when you're doing, when you're working hard, it'll kind of like demotivate you a little bit. Like, yo, I thought I did my thing. Niggas will never, you never hear from these niggas. Right? So, uh, um, I told myself the same way I did with blogging. If you're going to make it, you got to do it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happens, you have to do it. So I just relied on myself and did most of the records myself. I got SP on the record and I got Kid Kid too. And I got my girl Red on the record too. But other than that, I did all 13 on my own because I'm like, shit. Uh, I, I got one bar in there. I said, uh, how I'm going to package the flow. Feature who? I'm one of the best fucking rappers I know. Hey, yo. Like I just said, I just do it on my own. You know what I'm saying? So I wrote it all four weeks. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty excited for the project to be out tomorrow. Um, shout out to every single one of y'all who cop it. The cop the whole project. Or even if you just stream it. However you listen, my nigga. It is what it is. But you already know what the fuck going on. It's your man Butterfly. Tell your mama I said hi. Gang. It's the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with the feds and the D-A Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A